Hello everyone, this is Renault, and we're going to go ahead and get started on our daily challenge. So for today, September 16th, 2019. Come on, Mr. Mustard, we have a journey to, to engage in, to begin. Let's turn the volume down, shall we? Again, this is the sort of silly little intros that you can only get with uh, an amateur. You won't get those. You don't see these kind of uh, starts from experts. No sorry, Bob. And that just makes it more genuine and flavorful, as far as I'm concerned. Oh goody. Please tell me there's a rock somewhere. No. Uh, here we go. Remember everyone, always have something in your hands to protect yourself. Even if that something in your hand is a dog. Because yes, dogs can be useful for setting off traps. I know you might not want to hear that puppy, but you are so good at setting off traps. Yes you are. Come on, let's set up some more traps. And then, maybe at the end, there will be a treat for you. Mm. Come on, let's have something in your hands. Well, besides having to use that rope near the start, which was my own fault, because there was a pot I could have used instead, uh, that was a pretty good level one. Oh, crap. That was quite a harrowing ordeal. Harrowing? Horroring? I think it's Howering. I wanted to go this way. To minimize damage. Damage minimized. Silly hit. Hey, Key. That G can show up at any time. There it is. Okay. And the good thing about knowing where the key is is just so that I don't waste so much time looking for it. I'm gonna grab this puppy and just get him out of here. Oh wow, that freeze ray. But I'm st the matic is still better than the freeze ray. But what am I doing? This isn't the right way. But I knew I came up here for a reason. So we're gonna drop off our puppy. Grab our matic. We're gonna go back up there and grab the matic. Oh crap, the ghost is coming. 
Now, as some of you may be aware, I do not do any ghost mining. So I'm just going to leave. I mean, I, I usually don't because it's just so risky for me. And it's hard to pull off successfully for me unless you have... Unless you have the jetpack. <laughs> Something tells me bringing this rock down here might be bad, but I'm going to do it anyway. Well, that just shows that your feelings aren't always correct. I would have needed to get use a rope to get back up here. So the reason why I'm doing that is to get a little bit more... Okay. So it's definitely worth it to use a rope to go up and grab that crate. It is not worth it to get a dog just for the extra life point. It would be worth it to get the dog to sacrifice to call but I'm not seeing any altars. It is also worth it to use a bomb. Actually, you know what? I could have used a matic. See, that's why I consider myself a, a below average player. And I'm completely honest about that. Because I could have used a matic to open that up. But I won't make that mistake twice. Now, another thing I want to mention is that I'm going to start using this Matic a little bit more aggressively. Just because, uh, like I said, I'll use the Matic to get some extra points every once in a while. So that means the, so it's buried in the ground are the little bits of gold and then the larger bits of gold. See, this is a larger bit of gold. If it's only one hammer away, I'll grab it. I'm going to start grabbing it. Interesting. So with the high boots, you can uh, use the matic a little bit higher. And I don't normally do that with that, what I just did with the matic, but that's just because. Uh... Whoa! Oh shoot! Wow! I I did not see that spider. A promising run come to an end so quickly. I doubt I came into the top 10 because I'm doing this run so late in the day, but let's check it out anyway. Eh, not bad considering how late I did this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.